Hello everybody, it's William here. Welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, this channel is about digital art. So I create digital art, whether it's 2D or 3D. And I use artificial intelligence to help me to do that. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. So this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the problem of domain. And uh, sometimes if you bake an area that uh, is pretty large domain that you might uh, yeah, spend a lot of time on it, and here is a little tip of how to solve that and yeah so first let's just create a domain so let me just scale it up okay i think it's a fairly large domain and what i'm going to do is to name it domain and once i name that domain um i need to set that to domain okay so from um, physics properties i'm going to set that to fluid and uh, Sell it to domain, so it will just automatically become transparent, and of course you can just uh, front view. Let me just get you guys the screen cards key. Front view, and uh, I'm going to grab that up. Maybe uh, Z axis, okay? So grab it up above the ground, and then of course you're going to make a new flow. So let's just got the cube and uh, maybe scale it at that axis so sort of scale that down to a pretty small one one grab it z axis up so it's just above the ground and inside the domain so of course you're going to set that to flow so physics fluid type and flow so we can add smoke or fire so let's just stay with the, uh, smoke and of course if you go back to the domain uh, you can see that uh, we got a temporary folder here and uh, we got a type of replay uh, most of the time I prefer the modular because uh, I, I, I want to bake it first and then I'll look at it later but uh, for the demonstration purpose I'm going to stick with replay because I'm going to demonstrate if you got a pretty large domain and you um, render that, you sort of bake that. Um, okay, so you, you press play and you will spend a lot of time yeah, calculate that. And uh, because the domain is pretty high, right? So the smoke will just be calculated to a pretty high places okay so because you got pretty high as long as you got more frame to yeah to go you would just go to the top of it okay so if you want to save yourself a little bit of hassle okay you can choose a domain and you can make this domain change okay so you don't need so for example if it's just the smoke just coming out you don't need to calculate that um, the, 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 the top part the left part the right part you don't need to calculate you just need to calculate this area so if you set the main changes according to the flow you can save a lot of computational power so when you break it you'll be go faster so you can go to this area i think um let me look at it yeah this adapted domain okay so if you click it you can see that the domain shrink to this minimized size okay and this little icon here indicate that it's a adaptive domain this is a domain and it's adaptive uh, adaptive okay so once you check that and you then press play you can see that domain is changing according to the flow okay so this way you can see things go smoothly okay so that's the reason if you got a pretty a complex computation um, and you know it you can use the adaptive domain okay and of course uh, most of the time you're going to use this uh, modular 
uh, to bake it. Uh, but that that won't be that way you won't be able to see this uh, constantly changing domain. So that's uh, for demonstration purposes only. Okay. So yeah, and of course there is another thing that you can change and play around here. Let me show you. Add a resolution. Okay. For currently the resolution is just zero, and if you hover over it, you can see maximum number of additional cells. Okay. So let me place it to a pretty big number, maybe 20. Okay. So if you change that to 20, the uh, the size of the domain changes. So if you got a zero, it's this one. If you got a 20, it's this one. Okay. Then let's see that. You can see that the calculation broadened rather than this uh, sort of a minimized version of it. So that's the reason when you reach to the top, okay, the domain still expanding because you set a resolution to 20, okay? And this resolution can go pretty high. So maybe you go there 50, okay? So you can see that the domain will constantly moving even though you already reached the original domain that you set. Okay, so still it's expanding. It become pretty big. Okay, pretty, pretty big. And the smoke just going up, 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 and won't stop at the end of the domain that you originally set. Okay, so this way you can have a pretty small computation uh, at the beginning, but at the end of it, you have more things to cal uh, to calculate. But this sort of give you a leeway, okay? So, um, say you want render the uh, image for one minute, and you don't know how big the domain it should be because if you set a domain too small, the smoke maybe just hit the surface and just bounce back, and you don't want that. You you want this smoke just rising up to the air. Okay, so if you don't know the restriction, you can just use adapt domain. They can save you a little bit of computation power, as well as um, yeah, just uh, according to this uh, uh, flow, um, recalculate that. Okay, that's uh, the beauty of the ad uh, adapt domain. And remember, we still got two things to play around. One is margin. So the margin essentially is the uh, is, uh, you can treat it as a difference between um, the uh, end of the domain to the smoke. Okay, so if you increase that, say you, you increase that to ten. Okay, so the uh, yeah you can see that the end of the domain and the smoke got much. Bigger distance, okay. So if you got that to twenty, you can see even more significant distance between that, okay. So if you want a lot of paddings, um, and you want a, a huge domain, you can do that. But you also want to do that adaptively. You can do that, okay. So yeah, and of course, then is the threshold. So the threshold is about you can treat it as a is a sort of a density threshold, okay. So for now it's a zero point zero two, which means that uh, even though the smoke uh, can rise to pretty high, and the smoke become pretty thin, the density become pretty low, and still the smoke is there, okay. It will not get deleted. But what if I increase that? Let me show you. Okay, so this is that smoke flow to here and uh, still here. Okay, but what if I increase that to 0. Uh, maybe uh, 9? Okay, so pretty high. The hardest number is 1. Okay, so if you play that, and you can see when they reach a certain point, the smoke just disappeared. Okay, so you can clearly see the difference here. Okay, some part of the smoke got disappeared, 
is this not actually disappeared, but the rather just you delete it. Okay, so yeah, let, let, let me reach a pretty pretty high 9.99. Okay, and you can see this is always good to uh, just play around with the numbers to get it. Uh, yeah, the idea of what is going on. So it just got immediately deleted. Okay, so there's actually no smoke. Uh, you can see 9.9, uh, maybe 2. I think it's pretty high as well. So, but I think it can flow to a certain area, then delete it. Okay. Yeah, I think already some part of it is already deleted. Yeah. That looks pretty good. And yeah, as you guys can see, some part of it become pretty thin and just got deleted. Okay. So this deletion process is a sort of a simulation of uh, um, like you real in real life, you look at it and you, you think that it dissolves into the thin air, right? And in simulation, you can't do that. You just delete it. Okay. And I think that's pretty much about the depth of the domain. And if you think you uh, this option can add more characteristic to your uh, uh, modeling process, don't forget to click it. And if you're still there, uh, if you think my video is helpful, my name is William, and please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. I update video every day, so yeah. Thank you for your support. I'm, I'm trying to reach a 1,000 subscribers uh, hurdle here. Okay, so uh, it really helped me a lot to uh, subscribe and give me some love. Okay, so thank you. Bye.